Hey there everybody, welcome back. This is Sarah and I have two Paw Patrol toys to show you guys today. I have the newly released Chase and his spy vehicle and I have a Paw Patrol bubble blower. First, let me tell you about the bubble blower. I bought this at a store called Marshalls and it retails for around $10. It's for ages three and up and you do need to purchase four AA batteries in order to use it. Here it is out of the box. It's pretty basic. It's made out of plastic. It features Rebel, Chase, and Marshall on the front. On the top is where you find the on and off button, and then underneath is the battery case. It's pretty loud when you turn it on, but I hope that means that it will produce a lot of bubbles. It does come with these Fubbles, which I've never heard before. It's a great starter bottle full of bubbles, but you probably are gonna need to buy a much bigger bottle in order to keep your machine going. I have no idea how much this machine holds, so I guess I'll just keep pouring until I see it at the very top. Okay, it looks like it takes about half the bubble bottle. All right, here we go. Wow, this is a lot of bubbles. The popping sounds that you hear are the bubbles hitting my camera's microphone. Bubbles are seriously going everywhere in my office. This is super cool. I think I'll keep the bubble machine going while I tell you guys about Chase. This brand new toy from Paw Patrol features Chase and his spy vehicle. Just like the other toys in the Paw Patrol series, this is made by Spin Master and is for ages three and up. I found this at Target and it retails for $12.99. <laughs> this looks so cool with all the bubbles floating around. So here he is out of the box. I guess I'll show you Chase first. Chase is of course wearing his spy uniform. The very first thing I noticed is that all four of his legs move. His head can also move back and forth. He is very similar to the action packed Chase. But like I said, this one has legs that move and the action pack spy chase doesn't. This chase has on his spy helmet and some pretty cool heavy duty black boots. Here are all the variations of the chase characters who have come out so far. I think I have all of them. Let me show you his spy vehicle next. This is the exact same size as his police vehicle in the other $12.99 package. This one has some additions like the neon green paint that's added to the sides and the tires. What's completely different about this vehicle is that it comes with a detachable drone. It's cool that you could leave the drone on the vehicle, but I kind of wish that you could push a button and it would fly. Like his other police car, the wheels are free moving. Let me put him back in there. Overall, a very cool vehicle. Before I go, I did have one question for you guys. Do you guys prefer the regular police chase or do you like the spy chase better? Let me know in the comments box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the bubbles. I sure did, I thought it was super fun. If you haven't seen some of my other Paw Patrol videos, you should definitely check them out. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video.